Hi everyone, welcome to the series that I'm doing on activity ratios. Another way that these can be classified if you were to look them up is efficiency ratios. So either one, they're synonymous, and oftentimes when you Google these, you will find that they're classified in different ways, but I most often call them activity ratios. So the first couple of ones that I want to go over are inventory turnover and days in inventory. And to calculate inventory turnover, what you do is you need a couple of pieces of information. One piece of information is from the income statement of a company. The other piece of information is from the balance sheet. So what we do is, and I'm using Amazon, by the way, the stock symbol is A-M-Z-N. If you look up Amazon, and I often look them up on finance.yahoo.com. So if you put in that stock symbol and look for their income statement, you look for what is called cost of revenue. That's what they call cost of goods sold. So cost of revenue and cost of goods sold, they mean the same thing. So for 2015 for Amazon, their cost of goods sold or cost of revenue was 71,651,000. Now it's important to note, every financial statement that you see on Yahoo is going to be in thousands, meaning that they drop off the last three zeros. This is not actually $71,651,000 of cost of goods sold. It's actually $71,651,000,000. So that's just how big Amazon is. Then you look for the balance sheet and you look for the inventory. And what you're doing is taking an average of two years of inventory. And the reason for that is that sometimes inventory can fluctuate quite, quite a bit. So we want to smooth that out just a little bit. Inventory for Amazon in 2015, it was 10243000. And in 2014, it was 8299000. You add those two numbers together, divide by two, and that gives you 9,271,000. Then if you take the cost of goods sold and divide it by the average inventory, you get an inventory turnover of 7.7. We do the same calculation for 2014. However, for average inventory, we're now using the inventory for 2014 plus the inventory for 2013 and dividing by two. So the inventory turnover for 2014 for Amazon is eight. This inventory turnover means that their entire inventory will turn, meaning it will sell out of inventory eight times a year. Most people have a hard time you know, really conceptualizing that. But if you turn this into a days in inventory number, this might help you. So the way that we do that is we take the number of days in a year of 365 and we divide by the inventory turnover rate that we just calculated. So for 2015 for Amazon, we take 365 days in a year, we divide by 7.7. .7. So inventory stays in inventory for 47 days on average. 2014, it stays in inventory for 46 days. Now, you may look at these numbers and you say to yourself, well, what does this mean? Well, sometimes we have to actually then calculate these same ratios for a competitor in their industry. That also gives us a pretty good idea of where Amazon sits amongst its competitors. And if we see that they're turning faster than others or slower than others, that gives us a feel for whether or not they're managing their inventory well compared to others in their space. The other thing that we can do is actually calculate a cash conversion cycle for any organization. And this is an important part of calculating cash conversion cycle. So at the end of this series on activity ratios, I'm actually going to take everything that we've calculated for Amazon and calculate their cash conversion cycle. And that is going to tell you a lot about Amazon, even if we never ever did any other calculations on any other competitor in their industry. So just remember right now that the inventory turnover rate and days in inventory are a couple of different ways of looking at how well and how quickly we can convert that inventory to cash. Inventory is actually a cash generating process. Cash goes out when we buy the, the inventory, but when we sell it, we're actually generating cash. So this shows us how well we can generate cash or how quickly we can generate cash in an organization.
So I hope this helps and I look forward to seeing you on another video.